My video for March 20th, 2019, which is video number 3030, is entitled, Some Want Me to Look on the Bright Side. Hmm. Well, I'll try again for the third time. Yes, the bright side. Maybe it will work as it's supposed to this time around. It's over one hour and 45 minutes since I began writing this blurb, and my computer keeps freezing up. I even had to install four Windows updates, which took most of that time. For over a month now, I've had to deal with computer glitches. I even bought a refurbished Dell computer with Windows 7, but my tech friend could not get my data and programs to transfer to the replacement. Ah, the impasse. Yes, the bright side. I'm still trying to make it work. I've been trying to make things work better all my life. I've expected heaven on earth to materialize for years now, certainly since 2012. Some say there will be a shift at that, or some said there would be a shift at that time. Really? Where's the proof? Exactly where is the bright side? Show me. Don't just say words. Is that what pissed my friend off so much when he said, all you do is talk, do something? Yeah, obviously words are not enough. Action is required. But then how can disempowered humans finally get re-empowered. How? If we knew how, we would take the action that is so long overdue and so much needed. Please, show me the bright side. After I finished typing that blurb, I went to save it, and again, it comes up, Microsoft Word, not responding. I can't save it. But I left it on the screen with the hourglass thing or with the, the minute timer still showing. And it locks up the whole computer. I'm actually recording this on the old computer, which is not a Dell. That's the oldest computer, the oldest laptop computer that I have. And it still works fine. And there are no Windows updates, and there haven't been any installed since the early part of the month, which was the new every month, every month on the older computer, there's an, an update that's supposed to be installed. And, I, and it's kept up to date in Windows on the older computer, which is not a Dell. And it works fine. There has not been glitches on that, but it's four gigabytes of RAM. The new ones have eight gigabytes of RAM. The new computer I brought, I thought would have the same amount of hard drive. Well, it doesn't. It has like one third of the hard drive or less, which I used to have. The one third was my program files, and the, and the remainder was for my actual videos and stuff like that. Of course, none of that is working now. Uh, I'm supposed to, this is being recorded on Tuesday the 19th, I'm supposed to uh, go to a meeting today in which I have another tech friend who lives an hour's drive away from me, uh, and I have some questions for him, like, can he get it to work? Of course, right now, my tech friends, many of them, need money, and I'm running, I'm digging into what little teeny savings that I have left to try to keep my car running and keep my computer working. And I had, as I said, I ended up buying a, a, a new computer and it doesn't even have the, the same keyboard on it as the other Dell model. It doesn't have the touchpad for the numbers and stuff like that. That whole section of, of a uh, keyboard is missing on the, newer model, which I didn't know. I figured all of them would be the same. My older computer, which isn't a Dell, that has that kind of a keyboard on it that has all the, the touchpads for the calculator stuff. 
Anyway, folks, I'm frustrated. I shouldn't be making a video in this state of mind, but I am because I, I th thought the question of, you know, I stopped, there's somebody wrote, a longtime friend wrote to me and said, I stopped writing your, watching your videos because you've become so negative. Well, I wonder why. I wonder why I've become so negative when I've been trying to hold on to promises that have failed to materialize for a long time, as I reckon time, and I'm not getting younger. I'm still in relative good health, but people say, well, God's going to bring about the kingdom of heaven. Well, why doesn't God answer prayer and heal my feet or give me some tangible result that I can say, well, God is really answering my prayer. I'm tired of putting belief into something that doesn't work. I'm tired of living on a planet that's run by dark forces. I'm tired of demons being in charge. Somebody, somebody said George Bush is actually still alive, that that was all fakery, that he's still running everything. I'm, they're talking about not boy Bush, but, but the first Bush president. And, and many say that he's actually a, not one of the Nazis, you know, that the whole, that whole family are, were aligned not with the U.S. But, and Britain, uh, the Western Axis, but were aligned with Germany in the Second World War. Is that true? I don't know. There's lots of things I don't know. There's lots of allegations out there. There's lots of alternative viewpoints out there. Which ones are true and which ones are fake? I know that CNN and ABC and NBC and the mainstream television networks are fake news. I know that. I know that Fox has a little bit of what looks like uh, better news. It's supposed to be fair and balanced, remember. And on the internet, it's a mixed bag. I mean, you can listen to two viewpoints of videos of people making their making their case or read their articles and they make very strong points and they make sense but they contradict each other they can't both be true or can they do we live in a world where everybody's viewpoint is right huh. what an insane world that would be where there is no truth where there is no foundation where everything is constantly in a state of flux. I have people still arguing with me that the earth is flat. Well, and, and some, of my, some of my very best friends that I pray for all the time believe the earth is flat. And somebody said, well, the earth is flat, but it's layered. So there really is, you really can go under. under how the hell can you fly from to Australia from the United States from Los Angeles you would go, you can't do it going south because if the world is flat the map that they show has Australia up no, up north would be going north to Australia not south you know there's all these contradictions and questions how are we supposed to figure out what truth is and who's right and who's wrong? To me, love is the only thing that's right. But love begins with listening. And it's hard to listen when somebody's telling you, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. We have to get to where we can sit down and have rational conversation. But what is that? What is rational? I don't even know anymore. I thought I did. I thought I did, and there were other things I was gonna talk about in this video, but because of the computer complications, I'm not even gonna to get to that, so that's gonna to have to be a future video, and hopefully, I'll be able to get my computers all in sync again and working the way they're supposed to. It's really, really frustrating in case you can't tell. Anyway, folks, that's all I'm gonna say in this video, and I appreciate your patience, and I appreciate your response and thank those of you that have listened all the way to the end. Namaste.